Hello everyone, we are back. It's Bratz the movie because what else would it be? My channel is nothing but Bratz and the Witch GBA game at the moment. Um, gosh, it's Wednesday as well. The next part of that should be dropping in 28 minutes. Uh, not <laughs> by the time you watch this video it will already be there, but it's the final part of Witch GBA and I mean, I'm going to turn this microphone around, hold on. Sorry about your, that, everyone's ears. Yeah, that Witch GBA game um, was, I mean, I played it when I was a kid and somehow it annoys me more now than it did then. <laughs> but we made it to the end and that's what matters. Is the sound on here? Hold on. Looking good, Bunny Boo. It is. Thank God. Okay, where did we leave off? If I remember right... Um... We just started the third issue, hadn't we? And the Tweevil... Oh, that's right. The Tweevils were writing some kind of weird blog for your thing, saying that Bardeen had been on some adventure with a duke and Luxenstein and went to the jungle and stuff. So... That's where we're at. Um, what have we done so far? We've done Pet a Porter. We've got Hot Hangouts, Bratz the Movie, Yasmin Disguise, Keeping It Real, Pampered Pets, and Be Inspired. That Pampered Pets line, I don't know how much M um, MGA was paying them to <laughs> push this line, but they haven't shut up about Pampered Pets since the minute this game started. Like, calm your ham. Okay, um, so... Right, which girl has a a task? What's up, Angel? Nope. Unless, nope, nothing for Chloe. Because I figured out now that I think that's how we're working: is that we get two, and then there's some kind of thing that happens, and then we get the next two in the latter half. Ah, Jade's got one. Hot hangouts. This issue's lifestyle article is gonna cover the hottest hangouts in Stylesville. Where to be seen and who's being seen there. For this one, we'll need to practice a little undercover reporting. Let's check out each area of Stylesville and see where's hot right now. Okay. Head over to the mall and follow Roxy to see where she likes to tell to chill. Take a picture of her and stop somewhere. What is with these girls? Why are they so determined to stalk their friends? Why can't you just go to Roxy and ask her where she likes to hang out? Why do you need to follow her around with a camera? What is this? Hats off would like all our loyal customers to know that the Music Stars hat range no. is available in our Stylesville Mall store. Why not come take a look? I don't want the Music Stars range. It's ugly. Stop shoving it down my throat. Jesus. Right, here's Roxy over here. Let's see where Roxy's heading. She's always got her eye on the best places to be seen. Okay, I better keep a low profile and just watch what happens. Again, why can we not just talk to Roxy? These lot are the worst friends I've ever seen. Hey girl, you fancy taking a smoothie break? Sure, why not? Okay, cool. I think we could get these next ones for free, because I think Eaton kind of likes you. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. They have the same voice, which makes that really weird, because there's not really much of a difference between, like, the... Like, it's the same voice actress, but there's not- she doesn't really use a very different voice for each of them, so, like, it just sounds as if they're talking to themselves. <laughs> and also, Eaton's supposed to like Yasmin. What a two-timer. Right. Look at the way they're walking, like, perfectly in sync. Hey, Eaton. How about a blueberry smoothie for your favourite customer? <laughs> And a strawberry one for me. One blueberry and one strawberry coming right up, ladies. You two stay sweet for me till they're ready, okay? <laughs> oh, please. What? What kind of line is that? You girls stay sweet for me until they're ready. Actually, you'll never speak again, Eaton. Sweet. You're cancelled. Not exactly a major surprise hangout, but it sure deserves to be in the article. 
Might even get some free smoothies out of it. <laughs> anyway, we're not finished yet. I'll head to the fashion promenade and see what the guys are up to. In. I don't even get why she needs to do this, right? Like, they know every every place that exists in this town. So, like, what's the point? Where do you think people are going to be hanging out? Like, you've got, like... This is all there is. Surely you must know by now what's cool in your own town. You live here. Alright, we're following Bryce this time. Looks like Bryce is going somewhere. Let's stay on the trail of those hot hangouts. Oh, he's going to Phoebe. Hey, Phoebs. I'm just about to meet Kumi and catch a flick at the city cinema. You want to come with? Um, no. I think I'll pass, Bryce. Nothing personal, but, um, well, Kumi and I aren't really on the best terms right now. Aw, oh, hey. You can still come along, right? Maybe patch things up? Some other time, maybe. It'd just be awkward right now, you know? Yeah, okay. Well, I'll see you later. Okay, first of all, again, all I hear is Ben 10. So close, if they notice me, I'll never get the real story. What? I wasn't even near him! Yeah, can't hear Bryce without thinking Ben 10. Wait, what? I'm nowhere near him. Oh, I'm too far away. Okay, fuck. <laughs> um. Yeah, and second of all, what happened between Phoebe and Kumi? I need the Ds. You can't just throw in drama like that and then not give me an explanation. What happened? Like, the brats never seem to fall out over anything because they're like... You could probably, like... Sasha could like punch Jade in the face and Jade would probably just be like, Bunny boo! How could you? Let's go get a smoothie. Like these girls just don't get mad about anything. Because, you know, friends forever and all that stuff. So like what on earth was so bad that it made Phoebe and Kumi fall out in this world where no one is ever mad at anyone? Hey Kumi, you all set for the movie? Sure. Hey, did you invite Phoebe? Well, yeah, but she kind of thought it'd be a little weird. You two falling out? Yeah, a little. I think I'll give her a call later and try to patch things up. Sure. Should we head inside? Nah, not yet. I hate watching the trailers. They always give away secrets about all the new movies. Well. Awesome. The cinema is a classic hangout. I think I should take just one more photo for the article. Let's head to Dance Heaven Plaza for this one. Trail Cade or Wait, Cade? I thought it was Dylan. I thought Dylan and Cameron were finally hanging out together. Aw oh, man, what? I don't like Cade. Why is he here? And if he's here, where the hell did Dylan go? What have you done with my boy? What have you done with the worst boy in town? Bring him back. Yeah, no, they're right. That definitely is Cade. Where will Cade take us? Oh, fuck. Don't forget, Jade. Stay out of sight. I mean, maybe if you just walked like a normal person, it would be easier. But no. Right, what's he doing? I can't see. No, I shouldn't get so close. If they notice me, I'll never get the real story. I'm behind a tree. Oh, come on. I'm behind a tree. Where do you actually want me to go? Unless you want me to, like, run in this direction. But again, see if I could move slightly faster than this. These things wouldn't happen. But because she's going so damn slow. Right, where is he? There he is. Okay, good, good. He managed to, s to go past without seeing me standing here. In front of the shop. Oh, he's gonna hang with Cameron. Hey, Cam. You up for some skating at Ice Heaven? I guess. Hey, we don't have to, man. You got other plans? No, nothing like that. Let's head. Okay, they're going skating, apparently. Oh, chat. Ah, bah, bah, sh no! Ah! 
Come on, Jade. Don't be too eager or you'll be seen. I'm trying. Take it easy. It's fun. Oh, come on. Wait. Why am I on the other side? Did it not want me to hide in the picture of this doorway? Yeah, it makes me laugh because, like, every time I upload one of these, obviously you have to click the YouTube thing to see whether or not your video is made for kids. And, like, I once checked, like, what the, what the actual regulation is there. And it says, like, a video that would where you would expect the majority audience to be kids. And I'm like, well, brats, you would expect that. But not when I'm sitting around going, fuck shit, fuck shit, every two seconds. I'm not sure, actually. You know, Ice Heaven is kind of a date place, know what I mean? Actually, yeah. I guess if anyone was watching, it might be kind of embarrassing. How about the gym? Gym sounds good, dude. Yeah, let's go. What? What kind of no homo shit was that? Oh, we can't go skating, dude. People might think we're a couple. So let's go to the gym so we can be masculine. Nobody would think two gay guys would hang out at the gym together. Sure, just let me get into my gym frame of mind. <laughs> what? You gotta take a second to get in the right mindset, man. Just chill for a moment. It helps, you'll see. Great article, just goes to show that Stylesville really has the happiest place to hang out. I can't cope with that. Like, straight up, just two single straight dudes going on the treadmills together. Two bros chilling on the treadmill, five feet apart because they're not gay. Got it. Smooth sneaking if I do say so myself. That'll give us a great article on the top hangouts in Stylesville. To be honest, I think the real article there was um, about Kate and Cameron's inability to appear gay. Like, that's what you should write an article about. Actual no homo energy here in Stylesville. It's more likely than you'd think. Tweevils hate squirrels, huh? You think I could get one as a pet? <laughs> you know, I'm supposed to be helping Dylan out with his car today. Don't tell him I'm here, will you? Oh my god, are you still- wait, is it the same day? We went to London and came back and you still haven't helped Dylan with his car? <laughs> That's also article worthy. What's going on with Cameron and Dylan's relationship? What is happening here? Oh, hey, I was just reading your Alonso issue. There's some really cool stuff in there. Great job. What, you mean the photos that you took? God, Cameron, when did you become such an asshole? Jeez. I'm just kidding, he's still best boy. So did you get Alonso's phone number after the last issue's feature? Come on, I won't tell anyone. <laughs> okay, I changed my mind, he's been a dick. What are you- <laughs> Hey, how's things? Not you. He's supposed to love Chloe, what is he talking about? Why you get Alonso's number? How about you piss off, Cameron? The downfall of Cameron. Cameron is cancelled. This whole bloody town is cancelled. What does Phoebe want? Hi. If you send me to a bargain bin, girl. Have you heard? Apparently Funky Fashion's looking for local designers for some kind of promotion. You should check it out. What's going on with her leg? Cool. You should head over to Funky Fashion and find out what they want. Oh, I hope it's a top. I so need some new tops. <laughs> oh my god, what was that voice? <laughs> Hiya! Here at Funky Fashion, we've decided to showcase some fresh local talent. First, go create a cool custom top and a skirt at Dynamic Design, then wear them back here. If they're hot enough, we'll put them on sale. Good luck! Whoopee. Creating an outfit to sell in Funky Fashion. I don't want to make more cuss. Oh, I mean, at least it's not a poster, but still. Hi there. They really, really wanted us to use the custom feature in this. Like, to be like, we could always make T-shirts in this game, but to be honest, they don't use it too often in the previous games. But in this one, it's like every three seconds. Make a top. Make some shoes. Make some skirts. Make a poster. Put the poster up, and then immediately make another poster. Okay, now. Design a totally slamming outfit. She's already wearing a totally custom outfit, but whatever, we'll make another one. Oh, we're out of slots, right? What do we want to. I mean, that one didn't really work, but. 
Well, I'll get rid of the, the obviously get rid of these because they are literally just a pair of bright pink shoes. Um. Okay, so we've still only got four tops. I don't think it. Have I made a tank top yet? I'm not sure. I can't remember if I've made a tank top or a strappy top so far. I'll make a tank top. It's like a tank top. <laughs> uh, okay. What we got? Hmm. That one there's giving me big bent head energy. <laughs> What's that one? That's kind of cute. I quite like this. I want to see what I can do, like, or... Yeah, but like, what can I do with it though? Like... What can I do with it? What colour do I want for a star before I start putting stuff on it? I don't know, what do I want? Like a, a bright ass lime green. Ooh, that's quite a nice shade. I mean, the way it's coming across in the TV screen, the TV doesn't doesn't like it. Um, but I kind of do. Um, I don't know, like the. I don't know, I just think a lot of these backgrounds are like really bad. Like really bad. What can I do with this? Like... <laughs> there, now it kinda looks like the big brother eye. Um... Oh my gosh, what is the fairy stuff? Shy. Random birds. I heart my cat. It's bad. It's bad. Um, what pattern do we want? I still can't really figure out what that is. We'll go with that one. I don't know what it is. Right, right done. Where it now? Um. Oh yeah, we don't have a tank top because that's a spaghetti strap and that's a bustier and that's a jacket. So yeah, that's our first tank top. Go us. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of this one just because this is... I don't know. Like that one didn't work, which was disappointing. But that one is kind of ugly. I don't know. I'll get rid of that. Because I do think it's kind of ugly. Um. Okay. Uh. Right. Skirt. We haven't made. I think we've made every one of these, haven't we? But we haven't made the kind of ruffled skirt, so we'll go with that. Um. What's a color that goes with teal? How about red? We uh, we haven't made something like bright red yet. What if I just made like a bright red skirt? Red ruffled skirt with like... Yeah, hold on. Right, hold on. If we get like... Like one of these backgrounds. Like that. Where you can... Well. I was going to say that like, you can barely see it. But that is maybe pushing it. I don't know, I want it like bright red. I mean, that's orange. But that's pink. Right, that's red, I would say. Um, I was hoping one of the red decals would be like slightly dark enough. Maybe I will just go with that and just be like, just throw caution to the wind. Just use like all the red stuff. Some of these. I 
this thing? Nah, it's too light. I have an idea in mind here, you know? I've got like a concept. I get this stupid bird thing. No. Maybe this? I just want stuff that's red, like... No, it's like too dark. Oh, for the love of God, what about this? I don't know what this is meant to be. A ruby, maybe? No, right. Screw it, I can't get it. I can't get it to look the way I want to, right? <laughs> Material! Should we go with the stars material? Or like, I think we'll just go with this one, I think. Right, how is this gonna look? Can I say I look fabulous? <laughs> you know I think I can. Let's check back with funky fashion right away. Where's the design on the skirt? Is it that like tiny wee bit at the top? I mean, I think the skirt like... The skirt's like a decent colour. Like it kind of works with like her boots for like a kind of, you know, red and black scene look. But the, the top... Oh my god, the TV doesn't like the colour. It just, like, my eyes can barely process it. It's not coming up well at all. Take your new threads over to Funky Fashion. They're going to absolutely want this outfit. It's so good. Dancing on the air. We feel so good. Nothing can compare. It's the beat of our hearts. It's the beat of the charts. Like a spotlight we're cutting through. Feels so good. Dancing here in front. No, shining here in front of you. <laughs> shining here in front of you. Hello. Right, funky fashion emo girl. Fantastic. What do you think? Fantastic. That's just the kind of thing we're looking for. I doubt I'll it. Get my people on it right away. Great job. Are you sure this is what you were looking for? The skirt, maybe. The top, um. Mm. Oh, thank Phoebe for the idea. Honestly, the top is so bright, it's hurting my eyes. <laughs> Whoa, dazzling designs you got there. Are you sure? Wait for them to go on sale. I would look so good in them, don't you think? <laughs> Here, take these new design decals. Try to come up with some even hotter custom styles. Later, babe. Thanks. New Music Stars artwork is available to use at the makeup table. No! Take your Music Stars away from me. Also, no offence to Phoebe, but I don't think this top would go well with her hair. I think it would clash dramatically. <laughs> right. Theana had a task. Hi. What do you want? Hey girl, I've got a red hot dress up challenge for ya. Interested? Sure. I knew it. <laughs> okay, trick yourself out in a top and a skirt from the Pampered Pups range in Strutted, and then head over to picture this. I want to see some totally fabulous glam shots, girl. Hello. Hello. Okay, I think. Where did we get the Pampered Pup stuff from? She didn't tell me. Are they in... Oh wait, she said strut it, didn't she? Yeah, I think I might get Chloe because like everybody else has got an outfit change and Chloe's still wearing like the magic flare clothes from the beginning of the game. Um, Hi there! You should check out our Pampered Pups range. It's red hot right now and flying off the shelves. Plus, I just put Jade in this monstrosity and I feel like she needs to keep it on a bit longer. So I'll call Chloe. Because she has been wearing the same white t-shirt and pair of jeans for like hours now. And that hair. Hey, cool cat. I don't know if the game expected me to take her back out of that hair, but it's absolutely not happening. Is this... 
Oh, that looks bad. Whatever that mannequin was wearing was really ugly. I'm, I've got the fear. Oh god, it's all pink. Mother of pink. No, no, that's ugly. That's... Not the worst thing I've ever seen. That's bad. Why is it... Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. It also does not work with that hair. What does that say? My dog rocks. Okay, we'll get that. I mean, they're all super cheap and I've got 18 grand here, so I might as well buy them all, but I don't like them. <laughs> I think we'll go with this one. Even though I I've taken her out of one white top and put her into another white top. <laughs> Uh, mm, mm, I mean, it's fine. Oh, that's quite cute, admittedly. Yeah, I like that. Um, that's a no. That looks like a cowboy hat. I mean, we'll get it, but no. That one's all right. That one. Yeah, no, that that one's that one. Admittedly, is all right. I think well, I really like this, and I think that works quite well. Like. The white top with the black writing, the black skirt. She needs new shoes though, because they don't match. But I think that's alright. That's not bad. That's probably the best we can make out of that collection. <laughs> I do like the wee plaid skirt though, that's quite cute. But those pink tops were not... wasn't feeling it. Well, not until I get better shoes. No. I'm gonna have to go and see if we can get like a proper outfit here so the shoe shop's up here once again if they could just make it that you could buy the shoes in the same shop as the tops that would be wonderful right that's adventure girls what's this yeah right pamper pops oh my god ugly they're fine. Ugly. Wow. Chocolate. What is this? Like 1970s office space? Like, no, right, okay. The only- What happened to her leg? Oh, it's just a weird shadow. The... Why does something in my room just move on its own? The hell? What the hell was that? Okay, uh, my room's haunted. No. I don't know if you could hear that tapping in the background because that's why I turned around because something was tapping and I turned around and the cable from my headphones that are sitting in a, a box on the other side of the room were just like tapping off the side of the box but I don't know how because there's nothing near them so like they were just moving of their own accord I hate it I hate it I hate it anyway right we've got shoes if that happens again I'm gonna lose my shit oh I'm going the wrong way I don't trust them now I keep like turning around I'm like I do, don't trust them. Do you, think, do you think they've got Pamper Pops hats? I've got so much money to spend, I might as well buy some clothes. All the clothes in this game have been so ugly so far. What's this? Oh, those are the ugly music. Absolutely not the music stars hats. What are these? Costume party hats. Okay, no. No Pamper Pop hat. Pamper. Pampered Pops hats. <laughs> We'll see if they get jewellery. And then might go down to stylize and see if they have glasses. Right, um... Magic flare. What's, what's this? Oh, sweetheart, of course. Nothing on there. Bench of girls. Costume party. 
Okay, so no Pamper Pops jewelry either. It's maybe one of those things where like once you've done this task it unlocks the jewelry because I think we've had a few things like that so far where like you can only get like the clothes and then it unlocks the jewelry. Don't know why though. Oh, Pamper Pops glasses, okay. Did I look at these earlier? I now I'm beginning to think I did. That seems familiar. <laughs> I did because I bought them, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we're back. Sure, let's grab some glasses. Why not? What do we think? I feel like the glasses have changed her from scene kid to like... Disney Channel star in like 2007 in a paparazzi photo somewhere in West Hollywood. It's very specific but I think you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway let's go picture this and take some photos. Like Demi Lovato circa like the La La Land music video is what I'm getting at here. Demi Lovato's Don't Forget album, to be honest, was just full of tunes. Actually, so was the Here We Go Again album. Her to, their first two albums were actually like complete bops, to be honest. I mean, I don't think I've ever really not liked a Demi Lovato song. Like, they're all good, but those two albums just honestly were, were great. Nice outfit. That deserves some super hot picks. That's it. Show me what you got. That's what I'm looking for. Bonus blings for that one. This guy gives me the creeps. Why is he talking like that? Right. Keep showing off that style. That why does that noise remind me of Law and Order? Sweet. Chung Chung. <laughs> All right, that was too sweet. You nailed it. Yep, bong bong. All right, that was too sweet. Definitely law and order. All right, that was too sweet. You nailed it. The bomb bomb boogie. Go and show Fiona your pamper pops photos. What I don't get is, like, other than the fact that this t-shirt says I love my dog, what does this line of clothes actually have to do with pets? Like, what does it have to do with pets? It doesn't have, like, dogs on it or anything. It's literally just a line of kind of pale pink t-shirts and some very questionable skirts. But then, what is anything in this game? Why am I even questioning <laughs> at this point? You think I would learn? Fiana, what do you think of my photos? Wow, those are some awesome fashion shots. Here, this should go well with your cool new look. Look after it. It's a limited edition. Fiana's giving you a Pamper Pops necklace. Oh, now we probably can get Pamper Pops jewelry. Oh, maybe. I never thought to check if it was in clears, actually. Giving you Pamper Pops necklace. New Pamper Pops artwork is available to buy in the Galleria. I'm not going to the Galleria because I don't care about buying the artwork. No matter how much the game tries to make me care. <laughs> Same as I don't care about the cinema. <laughs> but yeah, let's see if it's in clears. I never actually thought to check. <laughs> What's this? Fashion taxis. Clairs. Just Clairs? Did we look at this? What does the Clairs jewelry look like? Did I look at this already? I don't know. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Yet, it's, all the games are blurring into one at this point. I don't have a clue anymore. Oh my god, there's loads. Wait, what? Why is there so much? 32 items available. Wow. <laughs> look at all this jewelry. And to be fair, it does all look like it came from Claire's. 
Okay, well, it looks pretty cheap. Should I just buy it all? Like, one of them's 75, and apart from that, everything else seems really cheap. Okay, um, hang fire for a second while we buy everything in stock. I love options. Oops. Like, I'm sure I owned half of this from Claire's. Like, I used to buy a lot of stuff in Claire's. Now I just go into Claire's to look at their Pusheen collection. I think this works quite well, because, like, I'm going for a kind of emo look here, you know? So gold isn't going to work. Um, oh hey! Earrings. What do we want for earrings? I mean our hair's down but I really like- where did it go? This one looks pretty cool but I can't see what it looks like. But hey we just got like 32 new pieces of um, of jewellery so I'm, I'm not complaining. Uh, what else they got? Oh, here's the Pamper Pops line. Place your bets now and whether it's ugly. 16 items. Oh my god! They're so silly. Alright, we're getting them all, but I'm putting the Claire's jewellery back on. Because <laughs> I like how she looks right now. Oh, this is what we own. Oh, she gave us the ugly one. I mean, they're all ugly, but she gave us gold. Like, I don't know, unpopular opinion, maybe, I don't know. I don't like gold. I think gold, I know gold's supposed to be like the be all and end all, but I just think everything that's gold is ugly. Like, gold jewellery, I hate it. I only, I don't buy gold colour jewellery, you know, whether it's gold plated, painted gold, like, I just don't do gold. White gold, fine, but gold, gold, gold coloured? No, no, no. I don't like it. I don't like gold. I think it's really ugly. And then people are like, oh, you have to get like gold for like, your wedding rings and stuff. I'm like, mm, no, no, ugly, 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 ugly. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Um, what's that? I don't know why this keeps happening. Like that, I'm pretty sure was the Rodeo logo. I'm beginning to think it's like the game's default if it doesn't have a clue what it's doing. Or the people just got lazy. Cause I mean, this one over here doesn't even have a picture on it. So maybe the developers just kind of <laughs> gave up. <laughs> Which, you know, at this point, ah, I don't blame them. Right. Hi there. Is there anything else? I think we've done all of the tasks in the town for now. We'll probably unlock more once we go back to the office because Kumi's not got anything. It's only Fianna and Roxy out in the plaza, uh, the mall and neither of them have anything. We did Phoebe's. Hi. And then it's just Cameron and Cade out here and I don't think either of them had anything. Yeah, there's Cameron. He doesn't have anything. How's your day going? And there's Cade and he doesn't have anything either. Okay, so we can probably go back to the office then and see, I imagine that there's going to be like a cutscene or something. Whatever. Yeah, here we go. Hi, Ethan. Hey, Yasmin, Sasha. Hi, Chloe, Jade. Hey, Ethan. <laughs> what are you reading? Reading? What, you mean this? Ethan? This is your thing. It is? Oh, yeah, the, um... <coughs> New? Your thing? My adventures in Luxenstein by <laughs> Bernie Maxwell? No, no, you see, well, it starts in Lux and whatever, but then she marries this rich Duke dude. And then they go on this awesome expedition to the jungles of India and find this big diamond thingy right in the belly button of a giant statue of... Are you running a fever? Your thing is a fashion magazine. <laughs> Not anymore. It's like extreme. Extreme. Everybody's reading it. You mean you guys haven't heard? 
Heard what? Um, I think you're not gonna like this. Like a corpse rising from the grave, your thing is alive again. Dumping its fashion format, Verdine Maxwell has turned a DOA dog into her own extreme blog. Riding high on her jungle jaunts with her late husband, the Duke of Luxenstein, sales of your thing have soared. Rumors say wedding bells are about to ring again for Lee Maxwell, this time with the wealthy Duke of Slovenia, famed underwater explorer. They'll honeymoon at Loch Ness, where their expedition to photograph the famous monster promises to send sales of your thing skyrocketing high. <laughs> Doomed, Bunny Boo. We are not doomed, Angel. We'll think of something. Whatever it is, it better be big. So far, berdine has gone after the Loch Ness Monster, the creature from Okefenokee Swamp, and two giant squid she's named Larry and Laverne. What? So what, do do, Bunny Boo? what? I think we give Bratz Magazine a total makeover. Makeover into what? Well, you know, something big. Big, yeah. Big and exciting. Big, exciting, and extreme. You mean copy your thing. It's not copying, it's topping. It's lame. Pulling diamonds out of belly buttons isn't us. It's Burdine. You want to do that to our readers? If we don't do something, we aren't going to have any readers. I really liked Yasmin's hair and those clips. I just wanted to point that out. <laughs> well, if we're gonna try a new direction, we should probably head to a new location. Wait, what? Are we on the road again? You finished with Tasha one doing styles well. Well, I just had a scope of the parameter and I think we've got everything. What's up, Angel? And I don't... Chloe still doesn't have a task. I'll just double check that Yasmin doesn't. Hey, Angel. Can't believe she's still wearing that outfit. <laughs> and the cat ears. Yeah, okay. Yasmin doesn't have anything. And we just kind of went around the shops and bought princess. a bunch of stuff. So we probably are good to go to the next place. Where are we going? I'm sure it said on the, um, the pet certificate, like... Look at our bus, man. Instead of our train. Wait, hold on. What's in the poster over here? Welcome to Stylesville. Uh, just picture the passion. Passion? The passion from an ad. <laughs> that is what that is. <laughs> the. So, any ideas about where to start our new look magazine? Well, I don't think we can match Burdine for extreme locations. But we could search for the big stories in places we know. Hey, the movie premiere in New York. That's a huge story. Are you sure that tops giant gorillas and man-eating tigers? It's the hottest news in the country. I guess the Big Apple is as good a place. Why is it glitching so badly? Adventure. Agreed. You driving, Angel? Try and stop me. Woo! <laughs> yes, Chloe. <laughs> so we're going to New York then. Which is kind of annoying because I feel like we were just there, but never mind. Look at these pictures on the wall. The hell. Um, okay, well. Travels to New York. Yes. This is just the footage from Diamonds. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. <laughs> I love that song. Right. Let's go, girls. <laughs> Uh, 
okay. Right. It seems to want me to be Chloe at this point in time, so... What's her name? Movie Star Show. It's the glitzy premiere of Girls Prefer Bling, and it's right here in New York! It's the what? This calls for a special Bratz the Movie fashion show! Woo! Calm down! Alright! Now, first things first, I need to do a little research. Let's take photos of all the movie posters up around New York. We could use those in the article for sure. Once again with the movie posters. Research saying use the Bratz camera. Why do they have to call it the Bratz camera? It's just a camera. Not everything needs to be Bratz. TM. Christ almighty. Right. Take some photos of the movie posters around New York. Okay, let's do that. What now? Wait, what? Hey babe, don't forget to get some funky snaps taken once you're all tricked out and pampered pups. See you later. Girl, I think you're a bit late sending me that text. We literally left the city and came to New York. Hi there, Bratz. We heard you were in town, and after hearing about your last show in London, I wanted to be the first to invite you to come and learn a new song here at the New York Music Academy. It's a little north again. Drop by and see us on the far side of the ice rink in the center plaza, and let's see if we can bust out a new tune together. See you soon. I wonder what incredible bot we're going to be learning this time. What does it want now? Okay, right, cool, fun, right, let's go. Let's see, does it look the same? It does! Is it still Christmas? I mean, there's still... Yeah, like, that's Christmas lights. Why is it still Christmas? It looks less snowy. What am I doing? It looks less snowy than it was before, but, I mean, these are definitely still Christmas lights. Although I've never been to New York. Maybe there's like lights up all year round. Like I don't know what New York looks like to be quite honest. I also imagine New York doesn't look anything like this. But you know. Sierra! Hey there. Oh hey, listen that copy of your thing I was reading. I was just, you know, throwing it away. We have so many cool things to do around here. Did you hear the latest story in your thing? Apparently when Verdine pulled the diamond of Zaragoth out from the stone goblin, it came to life and started chasing her. Hello? I love Sierra. I don't know why, I just do. Right, let's see. This looks like a movie poster. Alec and the Pixie. A story of love against the odds as a rebellious European prince comes to America in search of freedom from his parents. Freedom from your parents? Hey, we're all looking for that fella. <laughs> I love Chloe. This is why Chloe's my favourite. She talks so much shit. That sounds like the ultimate Netflix YA movie. I feel like I've seen that film. <laughs> right, what's this? Dance, dance, dance. Dance, dance, dance fever. Dance, dance fever. The dramatic tale of a young disco dancer who comes alive at the weekend to escape the everyday grind. Who doesn't? <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say that sounds pretty boring as a concept for a movie, actually. Right. Those are the same. Oh, there he's where he went! Hey, Dylan! Ooh, what's this? Fashion House. Fashion House. On a dark and stormy night, the haunted office of a popular fashion magazine takes on a life of its own. Man, I hope that one's not based on a true story. I hope it is, and I hope it's the next game in the series. What's this? Just dance, gonna be okay. A girl from the wrong side of the tracks changes her fortunes by expressing herself through dance. I think I've seen that one before. I think we all have seen that one before. How many have we got? Four. Oh, that's just the sign for the deco, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's a uh, Kobe. Take it easy. What are you doing out here? Out here with this really successful quote unquote band. Is that Vanessa? It is. I know that platinum hair anywhere. Vanessa! Hey! So, what are the guys like in London? 
Did you hear the latest story in your thing? Apparently, the two giant squid that Berdine discovered in Globania have fallen in love. Aww. Say, you must be kind of freaked out now that your thing is doing so well, huh? God, Vanessa. Why is there a bunny? Is that a normal thing to see on a New York street? Someone tell me in the comments. What is this a statue of, by the way? What the hell is that? There's that uh, hotel where Sharon got tied up in a cupboard. <laughs> Remember that? Good times. The time that she got kidnapped by the Mafia. Hey there. Oh, Katia's here. Alright, what's this? This looks like a poster. My me... Fairy, I think that says. My May Fairy. A young flower girl gets drawn into a world of high flyers and aristocrats, only to find herself used by a posh English villain. Posh English villain, eh? Sounds like someone I once knew. <laughs> I love that. I mean, we never actually met Nigel, the Ninth Duke of Lessex, in the Rocket Angels game, but he was... He was a piece of work. And now I'm dating him in Dragon Age Inquisition. Oh my god, I wasn't looking at the screen there. <laughs> it's that bunny again! Why are you- What is this? Who are you? Like, I feel like there sh that should be some kind of quest to like find the bunnies if there's one scattered all over the place, but at the same time, like... What is it? She wears heels. I think is what that says. She wears heels. An aspiring young fashion journalist is tested to her limits when a cruel magazine editor demands the impossible from her. Hmm, sounds familiar. Hmm, sounds like the devil wears Prada. Adventure. Is that, is that it? Adventure. Two young dancers find themselves in trouble with the law and must dance their way to freedom in 1920s Chicago. What? You know, I hate it when people say this, but that would just never happen. What one am I missing then? Because I went all the way around the outside here. Got both of them. Go down the other end and see if there's something I missed. And that's Dance Dance Fever and Alec and the Pixie. What's that? Is that a movie poster? No, that's just a picture of some eyes. Huh. What about this? I hear you, but I'm looking for posters. Is that a poster? No. I probably walked right past it and everyone's at home like, was well, you idiot. <laughs> Wait, is that one? Up there? Living it up with the brats. Now on DVD. I think I have that. Oh wait, what's that over there? Girls prefer bling. Okay, that's all of them. Now we've got to get tricked out in the brand new, super hot, off the hook Bratz the Movie line. It's the only thing to be seen in at the premiere. Let's head to Couture Chic and see if they've got it in store yet. Alright, okay, here, have a treat. Okay, we need to get some Bratz the Movie clothes. I'm looking at the timer and we're almost at an hour. So I don't know if this would be a good time to 
take a break and um come back for the f I I mean I feel like we're almost at the end right because this is like the third magazine and like yeah I feel like we must be coming towards the end but I can't I can't confirm because I remember with Rock Angels I kept thinking it was the end and then it just kept going forever and then we had to run through like three cities and try and reunite the band so I don't know I don't know but um yeah I tried to keep them to an hour long so I think we'll take a break here and we'll come back where we're apparently going to go and buy some Bratz the movie fashion so I guess I'll see you then I was going to try and think of something witty to say but I have nothing so yeah bye I guess <laughs>